सदाशिव शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा In the last class, we completed the twenty-second chapter of Uddhava Gita, in which Lord Krishna talked about Kriya Yoga, otherwise known as Karma Yoga. karma yoga also is not totally given by lord krishna in that 22nd chapter he took karma yoga means pancha maha yagnas in that pancha maha yagnas is also lord krishna took deva yagna worshiping the ishvara Puja Ishvara Aradhana Paddhati he took. That means among five yajnas, Panchamaha yajnas, Deva yajna alone is elaborated in 22nd chapter. That means previous chapter which we completed. In that Lord Krishna said, convert your activities into worship worship is also of two types one is ishvara aradhanam daily puja kaika vachika manasa puja that is highly um, propagated by krishna in 22nd chapter second type of uh, Puja is Yatkaroshi Yadasnasi Yajjuhoshi Dadasi Yad. That is, convert all your activities into worship. That means life is worship. That is another type of Aradhana of Ishvara. So, having said that, Ishvara Aradhanam, which is deity, what form, what material, how to worship, in detailed manner, Lord Krishna has given, nowhere we find that much elaboration except in Uddhava Gita. Now, in 23rd chapter, Lord Krishna is going to enter very, very deep subject again, Jnana Yoga. 23rd and 24th chapters, last two chapters of Uddhava Gita are concluding chapters. Concluding chapters must be always Jnana Yoga part. So, remembering the Bhikshu Gita teaching which we saw in Uddhava Gita itself. And Hamsa Gita also comes in Uddhava Gita only. We saw the philosophical teaching in the Uddhava Gita. Every Shastra talks about uh, Moksham only as Parama Purushartha. Moksha is the ultimate teaching of any Shastra of our Hindu scriptures. So Bhagavatam also talking about Moksha only that is uh, in Uddhava Gita it is coming Ekadasha Skandha. Uddhava Gita also is a Moksha Shastra. Many people think that uh, Bhagavatam means uh, there is no Moksha, there is only Bhakti. It is not uh, correct. Moksha is also is the topmost uh, uh, portion of uh, Uddhava Gita. Even though bhakti topics comes many places, but the concluding ultimate point it arrives is moksha. 
మోక్ష పురుషార్థ భగవద్గీత ఆల్సో ఈజ్ ఎ మోక్ష శాస్త్రం యాజ్ కృష్ణ సైడ్ ఇన్ భగవద్గీత ఆల్సో సేమ్ మోక్ష శాస్త్రం దిస్ ట్వంటీ థర్డ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్త్ చాప్టర్ షుడ్ బి కన్క్లూడెడ్ యాజ్ జ్ఞాన యోగ ఓన్లీ సిన్స్ ఉద్ధవ గీత ఈజ్ ఎ మోక్ష శాస్త్రం సో ద ప్రైమరీ థీమ్ ఆఫ్ ఉద్ధవ గీత ఈజ్ మోక్ష మోక్ష ఓన్లీ నాట్ కర్మయోగ కర్మయోగ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ ఏ సాధనం ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ మీన్స్ ఫర్ జ్ఞాన యోగ దేర్ ఫోర్ యాజ్ క్రియాయోగ మీన్స్ కర్మయోగ కర్మయోగ ఈజ్ ఎ మీన్స్ ఇన్ దట్ కర్మయోగ ఆల్సో దైవ పూజ ఓన్లీ ఎలాబరేటెడ్ దట్ దైవ పూజ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో మెంట్ టు ప్యూరిఫై యువర్ మైండ్ టు develop a focus in capacity to your mind so that you become eligible for jnana yoga so uddhava gita is going to be concluded in these two chapters what is that bhikshu gita and hamsa gita we saw that atman nature atma swarupam i the atma am independent consciousness entity i am enlivening the body mind complex body mind complex are material they are functioning because of me this is the understanding in jnana yoga if i remember my real nature higher nature life is a sport if i forget my real nature life is miserable not only forgetting first i have to get this understanding and not losing sight of uh, this real nature and i the atma i am not tainted by any worldly matters so i uh, elevate myself from dasa bhava to swami bhava karma yoga దైవ పూజ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ ఐ యామ్ ఏ థర్డ్ పర్సన్ వర్షిపింగ్ ద లార్డ్ యాజ్ అన్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ వర్షిప్ దేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ట్రయాంగులర్ ఫార్మేట్ ఐ యామ్ ఏ భక్త భగవాన్ ఈజ్ స్వామి వరల్డ్ ఈజ్ ట్రబులింగ్ మీ వరల్డ్ ఈజ్ గివింగ్ మీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ థింకింగ్ ఈజ్ um in the lower level of thinking so after worshiping worshiping the lord when i come to gnana yoga i come to know that there is no triad but there is only binary format in swami ji's language that means atma anatma alone are there ishvara and world all come under anatma when i come to gnana yoga path it is not uh, that much easy to come to binary format it needs a lot of shravanam of upanishads as long as i am in triangular format uh, that means as the dasa as a bhakta as a um, swami is bhagwan saving me i am saved by bhagwan i am protected by bhagwan like that i think that world is uh, troubling me you can never change the world you can never get complete uh, um, satisfaction or uh, what you can call happiness uh, in that because in anatma ప్రపంచ ఫ్యామిలీ బాడీ మైండ్ హుచ్ ఐ యామ్ కన్ఫ్రంటింగ్ ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ కంట్రోల్ ద మూమెంట్ ఐ ట్రై టు కంట్రో కంట్రోల్ వన్ థింగ్ అనదర్ థింగ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ హెవేర్ బాడీ మైండ్ ఫ్యామిలీ అండ్ ద వర్ల్డ్లీ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ బికాస్ ద అనాత్మ నేచర్ ఈజ్ ఫ్లక్చువేషన్ go on changing i have no total control on anatma therefore 
just as a doctor trying to treat the patient without diagnosing the problem. Without diagnosing the problem, however much he treat, that person cannot be cured. He cannot get cured without proper diagnosis. Similarly, Shastra is helping us diagnose your problem without diagnosing the main problem that is ignorance. Your samsara problems, suffering or sorrow, unhappiness, insecurity, all these because of ignorance, not that you are lacking something. In spite of having everything, you have ignorance about yourself, therefore you can never be happy, however much you get. This is the diagnosed, diagnosed by all our Acharyas, great, great Acharyas through Upanishadic teaching, they are diagnosed and given the treatment also. The treatment is only removal of ignorance. Ignorance is the um, disease like, uh, it has to be diagnosed, that ignorance has to be removed. In Chinmayananda Swamiji language, ignorance or dectomy to be done. The removal of ignorance is called ignorance or dectomy. In dectomy always they remove one part of the body, tonsillectomy and tonsils they remove. Hysterectomy and they remove the uterus. No. Similarly, appendicectomy and they remove appendicitis. A sectomy and removing that part from your body. Similarly, ignorance or dectomy also, what we have to remove? You have to remove ignorance. Atma Agnanam. So, Atma Agnanam is the final solution. Worshipping the Lord, doing puja every day is a, a stepping stone. <coughs> Even after knowledge also, you can continue to worship for Loka Sangrahana. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Today is Sri Krodhi Nama Samvatsa, Ugadi. Sanskrit calendar from today onwards it is uh, changing. Our Hindu calendar is starting from today, another new year. Chaitramasam Shri Krodhi Nama Samutsara Padyami today. So on this occasion for all of you, my best wishes and blessings also. So this day is very auspicious. You have to take decision. I want to claim my higher nature. I want to remove my ignorance. My puja and continues side by side, but not for my um, no, material accomplishments. If at all I do puja every day, in spite of studying Shastra, I continue my puja because as long as you are in Grihastha Ashrama, continue the puja. Only when you take sannyasa, you have an option whether to do or not to do. You have choice. But in Grihastha Ashrama, you have no choice to give up Daiva Puja. Either elaborately or minimum, you have to do Deeparadhana, Archana, some Puja, some Stotram, some Parayanam. Compulsorily, one has to do for Loka Sangraha. So therefore, there is no conflict in Dvaita Puja and Advaita Jnanam. Both can happily coexist. Therefore, there is no confusion regarding this. Dvaita Puja and Advaita Jnanam. Before Advaita Jnanam, I worship Bhagavan. Oh Bhagavan, bless me. Give me such a mind to get self-knowledge. After getting knowledge, O oh Bhagavan, thank you for providing me Guru, Acharya, Shastra, etc. Thank you. So either way you have to do puja. 
कृतकृत्यत अनमी पूजा करणीय बिफोर नॉलेज आलो पूजा आफ्टर नॉलेज आलो पूजा एंड विथ दिस बैकग्राउंड विल एंटर दि ट्वेंटी थर्ड चाप्टर फस्ट वेर्स श्री भगवाच परस्वकर्माणी न प्रशंसे न गर्त विश्वका पश्य प्रकृत्या पुषेण चीप एंड प्रफौंड वर्से लुक this whole world as mithya anatma after getting this knowledge how a gnani should behave gnani's character is like this in the first verse bhagwan krishna says gnani is one he don't get involved in praising others or criticizing others in the worldly <coughs> with uh, likes and dislikes he is not uh, uh, involved deeply attached to the worldly people or anything he is very flexible he is supposed to be flexible we should not say why you are like this why you are not like this that is not correct therefore lord krishna says the other people in the world family and all they are not at your expectation parasvabhava karmani other uh, people character swabhava means a character and their karmani activities न प्रशंसेत न गर्खेत नवर ओवर प्रेज अदर्स प्रेजिंग अदर्स ग्लोरीफाइंग अदर्स एक्सट्रीमली ऑल द टाइम द मोर यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्रेजिंग अदर्स लेटर यू विल गेट अटैचमेंट टू वर्ड्स दैट पीपल the more you praise because you get lot of admiration because of their swabhava character they are good they sing well they dance well they speak well <coughs> or they are so friendly some good activities good habits go on and on and on prashamsha means praising glorifying then slowly what will happen you will be addicted to that person close to that person get attached to that person then automatically you will lose sight of from your real nature gnani is one never involved in deep attachment with others in praising others we should not praise too much <laughs> moderation is fine too much praising means what raga liking liking means what i like this person because of this behavior means i have certain condition if he is like this means i like that person more it is called raga naturally raga develops attachment it's a conditioning or न गर्खेत नेवर क्रिटिसाइज द पर्सन आलो कंटिन्वस्ली गो आन एंड आन क्रिटिसाइजिंग दट आलो क्रियेट ए डिस्टर्बेन्स इन युअर मैंड बिकॉज ऑफ द्वेश एंड यू हेट दट पर्सन द्वेश गर्खेत न नेवर क्रिटिसाइज अदर्स आलो यू सी इन द वर्ल्ड आलो पीपल some people always uh, go on and on and talking about someone if you meet them they talk about only one thing all the time because they like it or 
you see some people they always uh, hate somebody they talk about that only in that they forget what they are talking also they never uh, think of other person whether that person is interested in listening or not what we are talking they don't bother because of their conditional mind they develop either raga and go on praising and they develop dvesha and go on criticizing in front of others i saw some people you know um, if they praise you know anybody they praise so much they praise and they you know heights they take that person the same person is having limitation another person whom you are praising they have their own limitations also they commit mistake immediately this person go on and on criticizing them non stop criticism who asked you to praise like that and who asked you to criticize like this what to do some people like that only uh, they see and admire in certain characteristics in others and they never know that a human being has got limitations they may commit mistakes may in, they definitely commit mistakes because of some limitations no human being is perfect this fact not knowing that and praising and criticizing this is this is not correct lord krishna says what will happen that person will lose sight of from his own nature <coughs> how one should look at neither praising nor criticizing how one should say vishwam ekatmakam no ishvara with differences are there but ishvara is one water is one waves are many but water is one vishwam ekatmakam looking at the entire universe as one atma don't analyze too much in, into the worldly matters because it is ekatmakam one atma only ekatmakam pashyan seeing that entire universe is one atma only all these differences are only at anatma level mithya matter material level body mind complex level pashyan prakritya purushena cha prakritya means maya prakritya and purushena chetana achetana maya prakritya purushen chetana ishvara people behave different differently because the whole universe is purusha prakriti in 7th chapter and 13th chapter we saw that very elaborately in bhagavad gita um, otherwise if i don't know this purusha prakriti alone is this world prakriti is always changing mind the person body mind complex is made out of prakriti maya it is also continuously changing that's why human mind is changing human nature is changing every mind is not same every person his own mind is not same all the time this fact we have to remember chetana achetana mixture this entire universe why to praise and why to criticize anatma anyhow it is go on changing it doesn't deserve any praise or criticism gnani knows this remembers also gnani should uh, remember gnani is one who remembers this if nishtha is there person remembers in the name of uh, correcting others go on and on and on criticizing others means uh, hmm, 
you are avoided by the other people in the name of uh, correction if you criticize other person before two criticisms you have to praise that person also before criticizing also they have some plus points you have to uh, tell once in a while our non stop criticism is not uh, fair that is not correct very important uh, teaching this is people ipudu da irkanu and naan pudichina muil muil kaal ipu moode kaal na moodu kaal kediyadu na adhu moodu kaal irukku nu sonna eppadi na adhu da pidivaadam nu solla tamil la adamancy pidivaadam what i say is correct this is only correct either publicly they say or internally they feel this is also not good at anatma level never have such type of conditional mind may you have some uh, liberal flexible mind flexible okay other person behavior also okay this person person will there is a room for change there is a room to grow for every person give time to everyone acceptance of everyone as they are that is a biggest training for every seeker acceptance of every one in the family relatives friends outside any one in the world you give time for them they will change one day or other if they don't change also don't bother it is not your job pray for them to come to a right path but i don't have right to probe poke my nose into their matters however much family member is very close even then as a human being first later only the relation first is a he or she is a human being see them as human beings never look at them as you are no property we don't have right to enter into other person's freedom but we recognize this very late even we recognize also we don't recognize if at all we recognize after coming to shastra many times it is too late too late that is why accepting others as they are yadyat bhavatu bhavyam bhagavan whatever happens is for good everything is for good therefore keep your mind in a relaxed manner be flexible be flexible very very difficult easy to say but implementation is so tough i have to work towards this life long i have to work it must be a hobby what is your hobby anna improving my mind anna <laughs> it is a hobby uh, knowing our mistakes our limitations uh, what are all areas i have to correct my thinking towards others others behavior no human being is perfect in the world if a perfect human being is there he is not a human being he is a bhagavan so bhagavan only is a cent percent perfect no human being can be perfect first of all you remove we have to remember this therefore we have to accept others behaviors behavior it does not mean we are accepting their wrong doings also it is, does not mean i am silent means i am accepting therefore they are also need time to grow and mature we require lot of tolerance we require lot of acceptance for that i always give an example our own teeth bite our own tongue we are not removing our teeth we are accepting our teeth what a hard material the teeth huh? and uh, what a soft material tongue how tongue is managing in between this uh, hmm? tough uh, strong uh, teeth not uh, one or two how many tongue is only one 
how many 30 32 35 teeth are there now each one is so strong similarly in this world also we have to be like a tongue in between hard uh, behaviors in the society family society live first of all in the family itself family itself that's why wife and husband first of all i want to know his nature then only i get marry the compatibility i want to see uh, after seeing compatibility for six months or one year then only this boy is fit for me or not then only i'll marry he should be like this like this nowadays girls and boys they are seeing the compatibility okay after seeing compatibility one six months one year are marrying they are marrying are they happy are they living with love and care for each other how much doubtful because a person always changing nature is changing they are not always the same six months one year you cannot understand the person Therefore, even after the seeing a lot of compatibility, living friendly also, a lot of diverse, why it is happening? They have to live ide like an ideal couple. But you see in those marriages only, even after marriage, before marriage, after Natambulam also, they are ready to drop. What is this? Na? That is the real nature of the human mind so therefore our people uh, intelligently um, used to marry whoever parents sees fine and they used to adjust lifelong happily they lived now by knowing everything they are most unhappily living or divorcing our ancestors are very intelligent Say, without seeing the girl, boy used to get married. Without seeing the boy, girl used to get married. How can you imagine that those days marriages? Can you imagine? Girl never, first time only on the, on the thali katam with the payanu papa. That boy also like that only. First they never talk, uh, no uh, first meeting, second meeting and all not there. Whatever parents say is final. Happily lived. 70th wedding day also they are celebrating. 70th wedding day. Imagine. Now 7 years wedding day also they are not able to celebrate. Therefore, others character, others behavior don't probe into that unnecessarily. If you enter into another person's life arena, you lose your peace of mind. You lose your Shanti. The more you enter into another partner life, more, more and more you involve either husband or wife or children, parents, any person. You more you involve, the more you will be affected. That is because of attachment. Therefore, Lord Krishna says, Prakritya Purushena Cha Pashyan Vishwam Ekatmakam. Atma is one. All these names are all only Prakriti, Maya, Mithya. Next verse. Paraswabhava karmani yaha prashamsati nindati saashubhrashyate swarthat asatya bhiniveshataha it is a powerful warning by Lord Krishna. What is that warning? Whoever, yaha, whoever, paraswabhava karmani prashamsati, whoever prays other persons, paraswabhava, other characters, Based activities. Paraswabhava means the character of another person, the behavior, karmani, 
the activities or actions which are done by others yaha prashamsyati praise praising 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 so much praising i like that person so much i like this person so much and uh, that so much is so you know very, very deeply you know very dirgham edutte they will say so much annale tagarara nartha prashamsyati suppose if a person praise uh, adores adoring and appreciating admiring then nindati yaha paraswabhava karma means others activities which are based on their own character every person behavior is based on their own nature swabhava every individual has got it his or her own nature according to that nature they behave this we don't understand we don't remember first of all even we understand also we don't remember hmm? that person why he behaved like this why he spoke has spoken like this why he did not uh, uh, tell me why they didn't behave like this like that uh, we go on and on breaking our head morning to till every relation is a risky factor every relation every interaction in the world this is the fact a risky factor is the fact <laughs> every relation even family members with a brother with a sister when you talk with them so you are talking from one standpoint they are talking from another standpoint and uh, getting hurt and all all this because person to person differs swabhava differs nature differs so talking also differs activities are also differs natural why can't i accept them and uh, i have my own uh, the frame of you no know, frame it should be like this he should talk like this he should like this and the i should should we should not use <laughs> more and more we use that should it is a troublesome word Hmm? troubling word should in a compulsory line compulsory the compulsion that compulsion only we lose our peace of mind everyone who ever come into contact we always unknowingly many times unknowingly we our mind you know our mind is not a, making its own uh, compulsions upon others behavior unless i watch my mind why why you are probing why you are involving don't involve too much in you know, the mind ki training kudukano if i give that only otherwise yah prashamsyati yah nindati if a person adore others always are criticize what will happen saha aashuhu swarthat bhrashyate appa he will soon swarthat means purusharthat swarthat one's own purushartha moksha ityartha moksha purushat purusharthat moksha purusharthat hmm? yoga bhrashtah bhavati bhrashyate means yoga bhrashtah bhavati he will never get moksha purushartha swarthat bhrashyate one shloka is there in bhagavad gita also dhyayato vishayan pumsah sangasteshu pajayate sangat sanjayate kamah kamat krodho vijayate krodhat bhavati sammohah sammohat smriti vibhramah स्मृतिर्भ्रंशा बुद्धिनाश बुद्धिनाशा प्रणश्यति एज द टांग एज यू थिंक अबाउट अनदर पर्सन ध्याय तो विषयान संग अटैचमेंट कम्स उपजाते संग संजाते काम ई डिजयर दट पर्सन शुड बी लाइक दिस् दिट शुड बी लाइक दिस् 
when that karma is not fulfilled krodhaha abhijayate i become so restless anxious inside krodhat i lose my not tranquility i become delusion comes samoha smruti vibhramah i lose my temper what i am talking with whom i am talking i forget these are all because of non alignment of manasu buddhi and um, uh, manasa vacha karmana alignment is not there the behavior is always um, vulnerable that's why some people's behavior is vulnerable because of non alignment at mental level verbal level and physical level so ashtanga yoga very very helpful to bring alignment between body and um, words uh, physical level verbal level and mental level saha ashuhu na shigram ashuhu means shigram swardhat bhrashyate why because the reason is given here asati abhinivesatah the more you are involving in anatma people behavior means you are giving more importance to anatma body mind complex which on which you don't have control asati means mithya anatma you will get side track side track uh, so the such a gnani jada bharta example we give always innocent attachment of jada bharta towards that dear what happened to him uh, what a tapasvi he was doing tapas in the forest he can who would have continued that but a small ordinary deer he brought to his ashram and taking care of that always and he has forgotten japa anushthana mandal and he started thinking about small deer after my death who will take care of this deer if it goes for uh, eating grass he always worry any tiger may come and eat what will happen to my tiger deer uh, who will take care of go uh, oh, on and on thinking about the deer next janma what happened he born as a deer in the kada namakellarku theriyum simple innocent attachment similarly people human beings also develop attachment to their pet dogs pet dogs the crow comes and eat you develop attachment the squirrel comes and eat you develop attachment pun in a cat in your house you develop attachment what not human mind is always getting attached to something or other leaning upon something in emotionally in your simplicity and you are showing the compassion you are thinking you are showing compassion and giving more and more place to those objects in your heart and you forget it is all anatma body mind complex matter why i am giving so much importance to that na? you miss that truth asati abhiniveshatah abhinivesha means your heart is full abhinivesha means obsessed with obsessed with abhi um, asati asati na mithya prapancha you are lose the track can us lose the track then after some time only you recognize after one day two days or few weeks my god why i behaved like this gone again after some time again again we'll do that way only we we'll lose sight of how many times it is happening in a question because you are giving reality to that unreal nama roopa prapancha asati abhiniveshatah abhinivesha means um, obsessed with that unreal nama roopa prapancha body mind husband wife children all of them are nothing but what matter 
பாடி மைண்ட் எமோஷன்ஸ் அஹங்காரம் ஆல் ஆர் மேட்டர் இதெல்லாம் சொன்ன அப்போ கஷ்டம் சுவாமி வெரி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் ஃபேக்ட் இஸ் தட் ஓன்லி பட் ஹவு கேன் பி மேனேஜ் இஃப் தட் இஸ் நாட் தேர் லவ் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் இஸ் வாட் மை டியர் இஃப் யூ ரிமெம்பர் தட் அண்ட் ஹேண்டில் த திங்ஸ் அண்ட் பீப்புள் யூ ஆர் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் ரிமெம்பர் அண்ட் இன்வால்வ் இன் அனாத்மா இன் ஆத்மா இஸ் வெயிட்டிங் ஆல்வேஸ் எனி சான்ஸ் கம்ஸ் ஐ வில் ட்ராப் திஸ் பர்சன் அனாத்ம தேகாபிமான மனாபிமான புத்திரபிமான புத்திரியபிமான கிரகாபிமான ஆர் வெயிட்டிங் டு ட்ராப் யூ டு டெஸ்ட் யூ யூ டு நாட் நோ தட் ஆஃப்டர் ட்ராப்டு பை தெம் ஃபார் ஃபியூ ஹவர்ஸ் ஃபியூ டேஸ் பை தட் டைம் பிரம்மமாவது அகமாவது அகம் பிரம்மாஸ்மியா எங்கேயோ இருக்கேன் உச்சி அவ்வளோதான் Anathma is so powerful, it has got variety, beauty and novelty, but it doesn't have reality, there is, or there is no stability, therefore there is no life uh, is so troublesome to that person, in spite of studying Vedanta. Uh, I am not talking about ordinary people. In spite of studying Upanishadic teaching, a Mithya Prapancha, Nama Rupa, Nama Rupa, Jagat Amsha, Asti Bhati Priyam, Atma Amsha. So, after knowing all, I know Swamini, but the but only Patr. <laughs> Because of Patr, this but will come. Patr and attachment. Why do we have the attachment? That's why. அந்த அட்டாச்மெண்ட்டு தான் ஸோ பவர்ஃபுல் வைராகியம் அவ்வளோ சீக்கிரம் வராது நெக்ஸ்ட் வேன் எஸ் அசதி அசத்தி ப்ளஸ் அபிநிவேஷதா அசத்திய அபிநிவேஷதா சின்ஸ் ஈஸ் அப்சஸ்டு வித் திஸ் மாயா அசத் பிரபஞ்ச ஹி பிகம்ஸ் யோக பிரஷ்டா பிரஷ்யதே என்ன யோக பிரஷ்டா அபிஜாயதே தட்ஸ் வை நெக்ஸ்ட் ஜென்மா போஸ்ட் போன் பண்ணிட்டு இருப்போம் அவனே குரு சேஸ் யூ வில் கெட் மோக்ஷா இன் திஸ் ஜென்மான்னா நோ 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 சுவாமி ஐ ஹவ் லாட் ஆஃப் அட்டாச்மெண்ட் ஃபார் மை கிராண்ட் சன் கிராண்ட் டாட்டர் தேர் ஃபார் நெக்ஸ்ட் பர்த் என்ன ஐ ஐ எம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு கேரண்டி ஃபார் நெக்ஸ்ட் பர்த் நெக்ஸ்ட் பர்த் எப்படி இருக்கோன்னு சொல்ல முடியாது இப்பறவி தப்பினால் எப்பிறவி வாய்க்குமோன்னு பட் திஸ் பர்சன் இஸ் ஸோ கான்ஃபிடென்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் பர்த் ஐ வில் கெட் மோக்ஷான் ஏன் அது இப்போயும் ஒர்க் பண்ணக்கூடாது வை யூ ஆர் போஸ்ட் போனீங்கன்னா நவ் இட் இஸ் ஸோ கோசி நோ சில்ட்ரன் மைண்ட் ஃபேமிலி சிங்ஸ் பொசிஷன்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி கோசி ஸோ நைஸ் தே கிவ் லைக் எ குஷன் லைக் ஆல் ஆஃப் தேம் தட்ஸ் வை மேக்ஸிமம் பீப்புள் மனுஷாணாம் சஹசிரேஷு பகவான் சேஸ் பட் ட்ரை ட்ரை யுவர் பெஸ்ட் தேர்ட் வர்ஸ் தைஜசே நிதிரயாபன்னிண்டஸ்தோ நஷ்டச்சேத்தனோதி மத்து தன்னாத்தமான ஹியர் லாட் கிருஷ்ணா கிவ்ஸ் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் just as a dreamer taijase taijasa means here rajasa hankara karmani kar karyani rajasa hankara karyani ityartha because um, uh, sleep uh, fully tamo guna is predominant sattva guna இஸ் அஹங்கார காரியாணி இஸ் மைண்ட் மைண்ட் இஸ் ஆக்டிவ் வென் சத்வகுண இஸ் தேர் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ரிசீவ் பட் இன் ட்ரீம் தைஜஸ நித்ரா நித்ரையா ஆபன்னி நித்ரையா ஆபன்னி பிண்டஸ்தா பிண்டஸ்தா மீன்ஸ் பிண்டா மீன்ஸ் ஹியர் ஷரீரம் Pindastaha means Dehi, the one who has got a body. Just as the householder 
who holds the house is householder similarly body holder is called pindastaha sharirastaha jeevatma ityarthaha pindastaha jeevatma the jeevatma the uh, one who is in the pindam shariram is called pindastaha nashta chetanaha in deep sleep nidraya aapanne sati sati saptam when he goes to sleep when he goes to sleep he has got a dream taijase sukshma sharira mind started projecting the dream mind starting projecting the dream taijase mayam prapnoti it sees the dream world here maya means dream world dream world in his uh, um, dream world he sees so many objects that is the subtle mind projecting its own vasanas at the time of sleep no total deep sleep and uh, all senses are gone sir any who in sleep dream also five plus five senses are gone sir not functioning so rajas ahankara karyani means uh, five plus five sense organs dasha indriyani nidraya aapanne taijasa means dasha indriyani when they are uh, nidraya aapanne when they go to sleep when they are not functioning of this jeevatma nashta chetanaha his mind is not active mayam prapnoti he sees the dream and because of that dream the dream objects are uh, real for him this is a drishtanta then we'll go to darshtanta later second half of the second line he gives darshtanta tadvat onwards darshtanta here mayam prapnoti means the waker lose sight of himself that he is a waker he is sleeping on the bed every one of us like that only every night when we go to sleep we forget our waker hood this is what happening after forgetting my waker hood where i am sleeping i am waker none of us remember and i see a um, dream nightmare no? that dream also that be a bad dream suppose in that i am suffering that bad dream why dream is not a dream for a dreamer in the dream it is how much real dream is real for a dreamer how much how much percent it is real for human uh, cent percent cent percent real dreamer ke dream is not a dream it is 100% correct real 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 why nidraya because of nidra mrityum va prapnoti and mrityum means what almost it is not mrityu exactly here overpowered by sleep the jiva losing the outward consciousness means uh, jagrut prapancha he forgets and experiences either dreams or death like sleep mrutyu here means deep sleep gaadha nidra when we go to sleep uh, when it is not gaadha nidra we get uh, dreams either you get dreams or you get gaadha nidra deep sleep deep sleep is as good as death only deep sleep is what na? is as good as death that's why mrutyum va i lose um, um, the waker hood and i lose the dreamer hood also when i go to deep sleep therefore that is as good as mrutyu na in mrutyu what happens you don't know about yourself in death 
after leaving the body i don't know anything in deep sleep also like that only that is why aj krishna paramatma using the word mrutyum va mayam va mrutyum va prapnoti losing sight of the waker hood and either he is in dream world or in sleep which is like a death total forgetting or projection either or in this or that the unreal dream world or in the subjective world dream world means subjective he only projects his own vasanas subjective and in waking world is objective that is why your dream is for you only not for other people that is why it is called subjective world dream world dream experience are called subjective world it is personal it is for you only even wife eh? husband do not know what the other person is dreaming but waking world is objective world because everyone is seeing same time he other person also seeing the same world in front of us it's my objective experience dream is a subjective experience for me alone it is available in deep sleep what is available for you neither subject nor object none of them are there it is as good as death only huh? mrutyum va a very new word this is used by lord krishna here tadvat up to here drishtanta so drishtanta over tadvat like that nanartha drik puman nanartha drik means the one who sees anatma nama roopa prapancha many many names and forms all are different 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 nanartha means artha means here many objects nanartha drik many names and forms looking at them and taking them as real seeing them as uh, differently is not problem gnani also sees uh, book as book pen as pen flower as flower gnani also sees one must see like that only flower as flower only you have to see not flower as book book as flower gnani also sees differences but what is the difference between gnani perception and agnani perception of differences nanartha many objects many forms gnani sees them as uh, unreal they are dependently existing upon me the consciousness existence principle no object in the world has got independent existence they are only unreal but agnani do not know that nanartha drik puman the person who sees all of them as real is the problem gnani sees them as unreal they are seemingly real not absolutely real agnani doesn't know that they are all unreal agnani gives reality to them how gnani knows that because of study because of assimilation of shastra any object nama roopa is nothing but you no know, mithya means why mithya na suppose i say book where is a book substance book substance is not there only papers are there the assemblage of papers car substance is not there sari substance is not there sari is nothing but the thread woven thread woof and warp thread therefore every nama roopa is a mithya means it doesn't exist it doesn't have substantiality of its own there is no substance called book there is no substance called sari there is no substance called house there is no substance called car they are all assemblage of certain components matter like that you take all objects in the world same 
So that jnani remembers that. It will not afflict him. But nana or tadraka, mrityum va prapunohati, or dream, world-like, you know, mrityum means here ajnanam. He is an nidra, ajnana nidra. Ajnana nidra. You have to wake up now. Uh, next class, uh, more details. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Namiva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha Harihi Om